Do you have all of the rabbit stuff you really must have for your rabbits? Hello everyone, I am Mariska and I am the bunny mom of four adorable rabbits. In this video I'm going to show you 15 of the items I have for my rabbits and that I consider must have accessories for my bunnies. So maybe you already have all of these things for your rabbits, that's of course great, maybe you haven't. And then you can, you know, watch this video and see if there's anything that's still missing in your rabbit infantry. I'm sitting next to the most important item of a rabbit hat and that is of course the litter box. Because what would you do if you had a house without a toilet? Well, you would probably choose a corner somewhere to do your business. And it's the same with rabbits because rabbits are very neat, clean creatures. So they will choose a corner and do their business, but it would still be messy because then, you know, you will have to clean it up. So in my youth, it was usual to put a rabbit in a cage because, you know, people did that. We didn't know any better. So we had this cage inside the house and some people sadly had a hutch somewhere in the garden with a single rabbit who was very lonely. And what happened was that the rabbit, well, he chose a corner and, you know, when you were cleaning uh, the rabbit hat, you needed to clean the whole bottom of the cage or the bottom of the hutch. And there was a lot of work, a lot of cleaning to do. And when you're using a litter box, that's different because you can take the litter box, empty it, clean it and put it back with fresh litter and hay. And thankfully these days people know better, I know better and we put rabbits in an X pen or we even free roam them and then it's very easy to have a litter box and the rabbit knows where to do its business and we are all happy. <laughs> so when you're choosing a litter box it's very important to choose the right litter box. A little box that is big enough for your rabbit, a little box that is, you know, suitable for your rabbit's age. Because if you have an aged rabbit, he can have arthritis and may have trouble getting into the litter box. So then a low pan would be most suitable. I wouldn't recommend a corner litter box because it's, it's small, you know, your rabbit might not fit in. Maybe only a baby fits in, but you know, bigger rabbits, you know, they won't be able to use it very easily. So then I would suggest something like this. In fact, this is a litter box made for cats. It even had this thingy on top, but my rabbits, they tend to remove it. They don't like such things. So this is what Flippie is using right now. Flippie is old and this one is the right size for her and it's low enough because of her age. Rabbits absolutely love hidey houses and tunnels. You know, rabbits are prey animals. So that means that in nature, you know, there are creatures who want to, you know, attack the bunnies, eat them. Oh, we don't want to think of that, of course. But things like tunnels, you know, they dig them, of course, you know, to uh, for protection, to have their families. And as you can see, Flippy is very interested in the tunnels. She likes to, you know, to go through the tunnels. She likes to, to even lie inside of the tunnel to rest. And she feels safe inside. And especially a tunnel, this one has multiple entrances. So when she's in a tunnel, she doesn't feel trapped. So that's very important. So this is a Heidi House too, but it's actually made for cats. <laughs> Uh, Flippie sometimes goes in, but uh, I found rabbits don't really like going into places that only have one entrance because then they can, you know, get trapped inside. But my rabbits love to sit on top of it. So that's also an advantage of hidey houses. Rabbits love to sit on top of an object to monitor their surroundings to see if there's any danger approaching. So that's something they do in nature. So this is Sarah's hidey house. Sometimes she goes in, but she never chooses to rest inside because it only has one entrance still. She loves to sit on top and to even, you know, sleep a bit. And right now she's resting in a rabbit hat. So this is the whole IKEA table and I made a public toilet of it, but it could, can be a very suitable hidey house. A good sturdy water bowl. Something I really recommend is a good sturdy water bowl like this one. So as you can see, this bowl has a really, you know, sturdy bottom. So when this is on the floor, you know, they can push against it. They will, they can try to, you know, <laughs> put topple it over. 
but they will have difficulty doing it. So depending on the rabbits you have, you can use something like this. I really recommend using a bowl instead of a bottle. It's a very natural way for your rabbit to drink. This is how they drink in nature. Well, not from a bowl, of course, but they drink, you know, from puddles somewhere in the, in the, in the forest or wherever they live. Of course, there are multiple bowls on the market. This one isn't particularly made for rabbits. It's just something I have in the house. But downstairs, uh, Sira and Flipje both have a pen. So I'm able to attach something to the pen. And especially Sira, she can be very naughty. And I know even this bowl, when I put it inside of her pen, she will, you know, find a way to <laughs> topple it over. And then there's a river and the mess and such. So I needed to buy something that I could attach to the bars of the pen so she wouldn't be able to destroy it or something. But even with the water bowl Sira has right now, she's still trying to detach it from, you know, the, the thingy it's inside of. And I'm very glad I found a solution because it's the only way she can actually drink water from a bowl. Oh, she's so naughty. Something you should always have in the house are rabbit syringes. I keep mine here in a little box. I've got some other items in there as well. I have a bigger one and a smaller one. I'm going to show you. So this is the smaller one. It uh, has, uh, you know, it goes by millimeter. And then you can see exactly how much you're giving your rabbit. Oh, this one is slightly bigger and I found that it's a bit more difficult to put this inside of the mouth because it's bigger. So I prefer this one. So why it's so important to have these in the house at all times? Well, of course your rabbit can fall ill, maybe he stops eating and drinking and that's very, very dangerous for a rabbit. So of course the first thing you have to do is contact your vet and discuss the situation, ask for his advice because I'm not a vet, you have to go to the vet, but maybe, you know, you have to force feed your rabbit. For instance, my Flipje, she has periods in which she has difficulty eating, she's just feeling under the weather, and I know Flipje by now, so I always feel her tummy, you know, if it's not very hard, if it's just normal, soft, and I know I just have to force feed her for a, for a day, maybe two. Usually it's a few hours. So I can use these to uh, give her something to eat and drink. And otherwise I, I wouldn't know how to force feed her otherwise. Because, you know, you can't just put something in the mouth of a rabbit. So you need this. A coomb. Something you shouldn't omit in your rabbit inventory is a comb because of course rabbits need to be brushed especially when they are shedding and they do that multiple times a year. You can see all of the hair around the house and it will really help you and your rabbit if you brush them because there's a lot of excess hair and you know your rabbit can ingest all of that. It can get into GI stasis which is very dangerous because all of the hair then you know gets blocked into the colon of your rabbit. So it's it's important to brush your rabbit regularly. Regularly. I think that's it's an in, it's a difficult word. <laughs> Sarah is uh, kind of trying to draw my attention right now because I'm standing next to a rabbit hat. A flipje is here too. <laughs> So as you can see, this is just a simple coomb, but I use the hack of Len the bunny. And Lorelai used this rubber band to, uh, you know, put around the teeth of the comb. And this helps drawing out, you know, the loose hair because it, it sticks to the rubber band. These days I, they also sell the hair buster on the internet. I haven't bought it yet because this is good enough for me and my rabbits. But the hair buster is bigger and, you know, it's got something that looks like this and, you know, it's part of the comb. So this one, after a while, it can break or get loose. So it's just what you'd like to spend on the comb and what, you know, works for you and your bunnies. Chew toys. If there's something rabbits really need, that it's chew toys. Because as you might know, the teeth of rabbits, they grow on and on and on. They don't stop growing. So when a rabbit can't chew on something enough, then he won't be able to eat anymore. So this one is from a pet store. And as you can see, it's very pretty. <laughs> it's a bit hairy right now because, you know, shedding and all. And this one you can bend in 
multiple shapes you can use it like some sort of tunnel but you can also make a fence of it that's that's how i usually use it and rabbits love this i think these are from a willow tree of course there are lots of chewing toys on the market that you can buy you can spend as much money as you like still if you're on a low budget you can also use you know cardboard tubes like this one there was some kind of plastic thing around this so this is what's left and rabbits love to chew on this you can use uh, cardboard boxes you can use empty toilet rolls there's a lot of things you can give to your rabbits for them to chew on because if you don't give your bunnies enough chewing material they will choose something to chew on themselves and no that's usually not something that you like rescue food or a way to create it so what's a rescue food for rabbits well rescue food usually comes in packages and this is food you can give your bunny when your bunny is ill or has been ill and you want to force feed your rabbit uh, using a syringe and this rescue food contains a lot of healthy nutrients your rabbit might need so you can buy it and you know you have it in the house and you know when you need it it's always around these packages have of course an expiry rate so when you have them in the house you have to make sure that they are still healthy to give them but you can also use kitchen equipment like this one <laughs> to make your own rescue food well not your own <laughs> for your rabbit of course of course a rescue food you make yourself usually doesn't have the same ingredients as the rescue food you can buy in the shops so if one of my rabbits doesn't really want to eat and it's not GI stasis you have to really be sure it's not that then uh, yeah I usually take some of their pellets and you know drench it in water because then the pellets will get very soft and you can kind of make a paste of it by mixing it you can even add some other things they like maybe a small piece of banana so they will love the taste and I can sometimes I add herbs like basil or oregano and you know the rabbits will love it a rabbit transportation box of course it happens to all rabbits there's that moment that I need to go to the vet and then you need to transport them to carry your rabbit safely you will need a suitable carrier like this one this is one of the more expensive carriers as you can see it looks very cute and it's big enough for Sarah and of course Sarah is a very large rabbit it has multiple entrances it has zippers it has uh, even a, a bag so that's very convenient this carrier also has a removable pad inside so you can do this in a washing machine when it's necessary i bought this carrier myself so it's not sponsored or anything and as i said it's quite expensive but sometime later i was in a thrift store and i saw something that looked just like this for a very low price yes that's what happens every once in a while so you can go to the thrift store they also have many other different carriers so you know a carrier made for cats is also very suitable you can put a blanket inside i also have this this is uh, actually it's a rucksack so you know <laughs> you can put it on your back so i bought this one when i didn't have a car and the vet was a walking distance um, you know for Popje and Silva and Fliepje this one is ideal they can fit in it's a bit snug for Sierra so I usually use the other one for Sierra so you can open it like this it also has a flap on this side and you can put in the bunny and <laughs> it looks very cute from the side this one also has wheels and you know okay you can use it to, <laughs> you can use it in a different way um, you can use it like some kind of cart, like you're doing groceries or something, but then there's the bunny inside. And, you know, when you don't want to carry your bunnies on your back, you can, you know, use this to, uh, to ride your bunny around. I usually just carry it on my back because when, you know, when you're using it like some sort of cart, you know, when the, there are bumps in the road or something, I think the bunny can get a bit nervous, so... I usually don't choose that option but when you have a very you know heavy bunny and you have back problems or something you cannot carry something heavy you know the wheels can be very handy so the disadvantage of uh, carriers made of fabric is that bunnies can eventually 
chew through it. So usually when I'm walking with them to the car and, you know, into the vet, they are too nervous to chew. But, you know, when you put your rabbit inside and then maybe you have to get ready to get out of the house, your rabbit can get very impatient and start chewing. So that's uh, a risk. Toys. If there's something you can use to interact with your rabbits, it's by playing with them with toys. I mean, you have these kind of balls. There's this thingy inside that makes noise. I I'm not sure if they really like that, but <laughs> I use these balls a lot to uh, put uh, slices of carrot inside. And then I, you know, I put it on the ground and the rabbits, you know, can push it through the room and eventually one of the pieces of carrot will fall out and then they have, you know, something to snack on. This is also a very fun game. You can find this in many thrift, thrift, thrift stores. Then the rabbits will pull the cups outside and try to get to the treats. And, you know, it's a fun way to give them food, but to, you know, to make them work for their food. Of course, there are a lot of games for your rabbits on the market. There are brain games you can use and you can play with them with those games to interact with your rabbits. I often like to use a hoop for my rabbits to jump through. So there's a lot you can buy for your rabbits, great boredom breakers. And I would really suggest to at least, you know, get two toys or something for your rabbits. A hay container. As you can see, I have this really cute container in the room of Poppy and Silver. And I love these kinds of containers because they are very, you know, affordable and you could can put hay in. Um, you know, there's not that much hay in right now, but still, hay can be very dusty, of course. It can be messy. So I love having a place in which I can put it. So the disadvantage of buying pay in a pet store is that it comes in plastic and it's all squeezed tightly together so it's not very easy to get it out i found that if i put it inside of a container it's much easier to get it out it won't stick that much so for me that's a really good solution and the room doesn't get that messy i also love that this thing has wheels i can just ride it around the room i can even keep it in in this room because my rabbits won't be able to get in and it's very easy to just you know, grab some hay, put it in a litter box or wherever you keep the hay for your bunnies. A broom and dustpan on a stick. I absolutely love these. I don't want to miss them because this is what I use multiple times a day to keep my rabbit that's clean. And as a person with back problems, this helps me to, you know, to stay healthy while cleaning the rabbit tats. I don't need to bend that much. I can just clean up, you know, the excess hay and poops and stuff that's on the ground hair without having to bend all the time and that helps me very very much and um, you know it makes it also easier to start cleaning because I know it's I can just take this from the closet I can start cleaning I don't have to you know postpone it I can just start so for me this really helps a lot. An X pen. Something that's very convenient to have when you have rabbits even if your rabbits are completely free roaming is an X pen. Because even when your rabbits are free roaming, there might be a moment that your rabbits are not allowed to, you know, enter a certain room because maybe you're decorating in that room or you are, you are using something with cords. And then you can put your rabbits in the expand temporarily and make sure your rabbits and you stay safe. I have two large expands in my living room because as I mentioned in previous videos, Sierra and Flipje, well, they cannot get together, they will fight, they cannot be bonded. So I really need these expands to keep my bunnies safe, to prevent them from, you know, coming towards each other. And what I love about these expands is that you can open the door. Well, I'm not going to let Flip you out right now because Sarah is outside. I don't want them to meet. But I can easily go inside and clean the expands and that's very convenient. Nail clippers. Of course, just like people, rabbits have nails and nails need to be cut. So when you don't cut the nails of your rabbit, they will grow on and they will even start growing in some sort of curve. And I found that when rabbits have very long nails, they have, of course, difficulty hopping around and the nails can break. I once had a rabbit, 
you know, I forgot to cut a certain nail, so it grew a little longer. I just didn't see it. And it's, it broke while he was hopping around the house and there was a lot of blood. And oh, I felt so extremely guilty for not seeing it. And, you know, when a nail breaks, it just, you know, it, it isn't a straight cut. So it can really hurt the bunny. So it's very important to cut your bunny's nails. And you can use these kind of nail clippers. Of course, you also have other sorts of nail clippers. I sometimes think this one is a bit difficult to use because you have to put this around the nail of the rabbit. And the rabbit sometimes wants to, you know, draw back and that can be dangerous. But, you know, I use it nonetheless because I, it's what I have. Cooling items for your rabbits. Depending on the climate you live in, it can be important to have cooling items for your rabbits. Rabbits cannot handle very high temperatures. They can get overheated easily. I think about 25 degrees is already very hot for them because of course they have a furry coat and they can't get it, you know, they can't take it off like us. Well, of course, we don't have a furry coat usually, <laughs> but we can take off our clothes, our jackets and well, mostly not everything, but you get the drill. <laughs> so what you can use is, this is a cool plate and this is made from, you know, some sort of stony material. You can put this plate in the fridge and then it will, of course, get cool and you give it to your rabbit safely and he can, you know, lie on top of it. But I have to warn you not to make this wet. I uh, tried to clean this at one moment and then, you know, it, it broke. So I'm not sure if I would recommend it, but it works. You can also use, you know, if you have some tiles left from, you know, decorating your bathroom or something, then you can use those two instead of this one. And tiles from, you know, flooring tiles and from the walls, those are usually, you know, very strong. You can also use cool pots and this is one of the many that's on the market. They come in different, you know, brands and maybe colors. And this is something, you know, there's some water or cooling material inside. I'm not sure. It's supposed to be safe for pets. So I, so I suspect there's just, you know, water inside or something natural. Although I'm very careful, I don't want to bite them into this. Uh, so I only give this to my rabbits under supervision. And you can put this in the fridge or freezer. I usually put it in the freezer so it gets frozen. And then you can put this inside of a towel or blankets. They even sell these, you know, things you can put around this. <laughs> I don't know what, what those are called, but so your rabbit doesn't have to lie against something that's completely frozen. A good vacuum. I don't think I really need to explain why you need a good vacuum when you have rabbits, because as you know, rabbits can make a real mess of things. I absolutely love my cordless vacuum on a stick, so I can just take it from the closet. I can start vacuuming. It's very easy and it has this compartment in which all of the hay and stuff goes. And then I can just empty it. Before using the vacuum, I usually take the broom and dustpan on stick, you know, to uh, scoop up the worst of the hay, poops and hair, because this thing can get blocked if you're not careful. Well, as you can see, the living room isn't a big mess at the moment. <laughs> There's the broom. Although here somebody kind of peed on the floor. There are a lot of uh, poops and Sarah is hopping around. So actually, if I want to have it really clean here, I have to vacuum every single day. But I usually vacuum, you know, every, you know, once every two days or something. So Sarah wants to go outside. She's trying to tell me she wants to go outside. Yeah, you prefer being outside in a garden, right? Do you want to go outside now? Mommy can bring you. Come. Come with mommy. Come. We can go. Yeah, that's the toilet. That's where all the poops need to go. Hmm? Come. Yes. Go outside. So these are 15 rabbit items I really recommend you get into the house for your rabbits. 
Of course, I'm curious to the items you all have. Maybe there's something I've missed and that you have in the house for your rabbits and you consider vital for your rabbit's health and well-being. So please share them in the comments and I will read all of them and try to respond to all of them. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. You really help me with that. And if you don't want to miss any future videos, you can subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.